Back on eventually finishing up with a point. Jar Corcoran. Jar pucks it, gets it down this side now, dropping in the 60 metre line. Batted out there by John Grace, but Grace stayed straight to Owen Hogan. Owen Hogan being tackled, but still gets in his puck just to say. Grace comes across the tie and knock it away there for Marco Lee. Succeeds in doing it. Here comes Swan again. And one, two side steps there. Beautiful dodging and ducking and getting the ball in there, but it seems to be an isolated incident there at the full forward. Seems to be outnumbered by two to one. In there to help him now is uh, Dwayne Fogarty. Dwayne Fogarty loses possession. Two to one there is the killer one man coming away with the ball there. Foul there. And the number two there, Dermot Cahill, winning good position and winning a free, and the referee decides to uh, punish him still forward for, for a bit of dissension there. So it brings it out another bit and another free out for Kilowan. This one to be taken by Seamus Hennessy. Rises now inside his own 45 meter line. He gets a good thump on this one and he drop just shot at the 20 meter and drop and down the inside the 20 meter line. Back there is a sweeper, but funding the ball has been helped out. A half held out there is Jerry Welch. Jerry Welch gets the ball, it doesn't get it out very far. Costello is in there for Killer One, a number of players there together. The ball ricochets off of uh, a Carrick Swan stick. It was in fact Jerry Welch and it goes out over the sideline and it's a line ball, a quickly taken line ball by Ray Matlofty and the ball goes across to Hallisey, Halle straight to Costello. Costello has it now, been tackled by Hallisey there, gets it out. Well, gets it to share to Kevin Quinn and Quinn and fires it in and it's struck with beautiful beautiful simplicity there from about 45 meters out and the ball goes straight over the bar and that increases killer one's lead now to one five one five to three points so the quickly taken puck out goes across the head from to Hassey who gets it over to that far side there is Alan O'Sullivan gets it out to Daniel Hannon O'Hannon kind of falls to the ground doesn't fall manages to maintain his footwork gets it low to the unmarked player there who is at this occasion Alan O'Sullivan Alan O'Sullivan fires it in but they can ill afford to be firing balls wide like that and the ball goes across the face of the goal and out over the end line and wide so after 20 minutes half 8 points to 3 or 1-5 to 3 points the killer 1 min lead Jar Cochran with that puck out, dropping it right into the centre of the field. Need no player getting in there. The man who does collect it is uh, Martin Russell. For Martin Russell gets it back, where Stephen Murphy goes back inside his own 45 metre line, keeping it close to that touchdown on the far side. Getting in tall. Oh, it's Mikey Costello again. Mikey Costello about to be wrestled to the ground, still gets away from his tackle. Gets inside, landing in. But then coming across the cover off there was John Grace. The ball is still, well, going hither and thither. It eventually comes to. Uh, uh, a killer one man who gets it back outside to Mike O'Leary. Mike O'Leary trying to get around has he gets it across inside to Mikey, uh, Mikey Costello who goes around one way then decides there's no way to tries to go around another way gets it across it's cleared out by, for the killer for the swan man. very well done there and collected they are for the swan man by Dwayne Fogarty across back he gets it to Kieran Reid Reid drops it right into the square 2-1-1 one, one again on the goalkeeper went, and the goalkeeper comes out and spun around it could have been dangerous there had Shane P. Ryan got in that but he gets Shane P. Ryan tackles the goalkeeper but he gets his puck out he only gets it out as well as Darren Fahey Darren Fahey gets it away there from Seamus Hennessy very close to the touchline good work there by Hennessy flicking it off his stick and all over the touchline for a line ball a line ball on that far side there for Carrick Swan right on the killer one 45 metre line to take this one and looks as though it's going to be Martin Russell. Is he thinking about a quickie? Well, it's not going to work for him. No, it's not. In fact, it's Darren Fahey. He doesn't get great length. He's straight to a killer one man. Seamus Hennessy. Hennessy fixes the head there towards Mark towards Mark O'Leary. O'Leary going be being followed by two two swan men. O'Leary is getting away, but he's been cut there by brilliant work there by Martin Russell back hooking him there. And now comes Kevin Lennie. Lennie inside his own 45 meter line. Gets the ball upfield there. A bat neatly knocked down there for Killer One, but the ball breaks. Instead, now it comes to Paul Diffley. Paul Diffley has a very close and touch line. Still gets in his puck just the same. Chance in here. The ball. Good defensive work. Damon Cass standing there. Getting the breaking ball. Doesn't get great length on the clearance. And it looks as though it's going to go between Alan O'Sullivan and Stephen Murphy. Neither of them get it. It eventually breaks and there's a host of players in there now. I don't know who's going to get her. A killer one man comes away from it. Takes one tackle. Getting away and gets a good clearance right into the centre of the field. Where it comes in Kevin Lanning. A beautiful pull there. There by Pat Williams. But it goes straight to Jerry Welsh. Jerry Welsh has it there on for the Swansman. Gets it to, to, to uh, Stephen Hans. He has his shot. Goes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. After all that wonderful play it goes harmlessly to the right and wide. So... As we're now playing 20, almost 23 minutes of play in the first half, it uh, still remains 1-5 to 3 points. And after some great passages of play up and down the field there, no score has yielded from that, uh, those passages of play. 
So, number of players taking a drop of the magic bottle there as uh, Jared Cochran pucks out the ball between John Grace there and uh, Shane Quinn. And with the Grace gets it, he gets it and now. I thought about a pass there, and if he did, a nice piece of work there from the. Well, it hasn't worked. Alan P. Ryan's shot goes to the right and wide. So, its score remains 1 5 to 3 points. 20, 23 and a half, almost a minute's gone as the puck out is coming, dropping right on the 165 meter line. Knocked down there, James Hennessy is deemed to have been fouled there and it's going to be a free to kill Ron McDonough's. And I'm sure that James will probably take this one himself. He is indeed. He thinks about a quick one. Oh, and it ricochets off of Martin Russell and comes back to Hennessy fortuitously and he fires it in, but to no avail. The ball goes to the left and goes wide. Score remains, 1-5 to 3 points. Colm O'Sullivan drilling it down a low one. He gets it to Stephen Hansey. Hansey now, it has plenty of time to look up. He's going to be hitting the shot. He's going to be tackled. Gets it dropping on the Kiro on 20 metre line there. A number of players going for it there. McEvinci leaves it after him. They're coming out for the Kiro on. Now they're doing a dangerous thing now. As a, a, oh, a chance here for uh, Swans. As Alan P. Ryan latching onto that ball there with some blue. Loose passing and he pops the ball over the bar to narrow the gap to four points. It's now double score, one five to four points. So it's one five to four points as we're just 24 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Jerk, Jerk Cochran pucks it out. Players going for it there, it breaks. But it can't one man, he's firing it over to the south side, going after back to it there. Jim McCall, Jim McCall about to be tackled. Still gets in his puck just the same. Dropping out into the centre of the field there between Jane Quinlan and John Grace. Neither of them get it. The ball is knocked down. It's going very close to the touchline. Pulled and half pulled down there for the killer one. But it's Stephen Hansey. Hansey fixes it inside. Maybe not a great pass. Coming out is Danny O'Hannon ahead of his marker. Shakes off one tackle. Then tries to and, uh, get to the head uh, of Kevin Quinlan. But his puck just goes half a stray. It goes off the hand of uh, Kevin McEvinci. Or it wasn't like Liam Gibson, Liam Gibson gets the shot to clear himself, but to help him there is Seamus Hennessy. Hennessy there ahead of Darren Fahey, quick delivery down towards the centre forward position. Kevin Danning and Cam hold on to it. The, the man who has it there for the killer one man is Ray McDockney. Ray McDockney rounding, he's full back now. Jamie Sweetman, Sweetman over there trying to shepherd him out, and he's done a good job. He has indeed, he's fired the ball, and he's fired it to the left and wide. So, score remains 1 4, 1 5 to 4 points. 20, almost 26 minutes gone in the first half of the puck out goes over to that far side there in the direction there of, of Alan O'Sullivan. The ball is knocked back as quickly there. It's going between Costello there and John Welsh. Welsh wins this one there. The man in the yellow helmet coming to his own 20 metre line. Keeps it close to that touch line over that far side. Gets the ball up there and needs nicely caught by Alan O'Sullivan. Alan O'Sullivan fixes the head there to Danny O'Hannon. O'Hannon ahead there of McEvinci. McEvinci trying to shepherd him out. He decides to go the ball straight across there. They're not going to make any ground going backwards to go forwards, but eventually it's with uh, Dwayne Fogarty. That hasn't at all over the place. Are they making any ground? But it doesn't look as though they are. They've been blocked down. Good work there by the Killer One defence. Kicked ahead there by Owen Hogan. Crossing his own 65 metre line. Be tackled by two players. Shakes off and leave, make that one now. And he loses it. Half loses the ball. Falls to the ground. To Kevin Lanning and gets it out to John Grace. John Grace has it there for the Swanman. Takes the shoulder. But trying to cross his own 65 metre line. About to be tackled. Okay. He's who half who kicks it ahead. Kicks it ahead a second time to help him there now. He's uh, Dwayne Fogarty. Dwayne Fogarty doesn't get a great clearance there. The killer one defence absolutely as tight as, as can be. But Ray McLeod. Uh, Alan P. Ryan has it now. Alan P. Ryan ahead of Dear McCall. Alan P. Ryan making it. Oh dear. Good work. Great work there by Dear McCall. Keeping after him all the way and shepherding him. And eventually he fires the ball to the left and wide. And in doing so he's injured himself as well. So as we are now in the twilight zone of this first half. The... Carrick Swan full forward has taken a knock and is injured over there and there doesn't seem to be anybody bothered about him only some of these now anyway so as the ball has gone wide the score remains 1-5 to 4 points now we can resume everybody is back on their feet again and uh, we will resume with a puck out to J by Jack Cochran the killer one McDonald's goalkeeper and that he does Right down to way over to that far side, going up there, and he's trying to him as soon as he doesn't collect Mac O'Leary. He does Mac O'Leary gets away from two players, looks at the post, strikes it in, and it looks good, and it is good from a killer one point of view. As Mac O'Leary gets his first goal of the day, and killer one's sixth point is one six now to four points. 